Yo, checking in with you. Want to break down that question a bit. So let's look at that first piece. Teachers and parents getting on your back a bit about how long you have to revise for after school. First thing I'd say is reframe that a bit. It's not about how long you're studying for, it's how effective you are in those study periods. So you could have two hours of study that's way more effective than someone else's six hours of study. Things that are gonna determine that are your ability to keep focused, are your ability to follow the syllabus and make sure everything you revise is gonna be examined on, and your ability to just understand the basic concept that it's all about coverage. It's all about topic coverage, not just sitting there at the desk and you know whiling away the hours not even learning anything and just thinking oh yeah i'm revising and all you're doing is sitting there daydreaming i used to do that the whole time and i wondered why the results weren't changing it's because i wasn't actually covering any ground focus on the speed of coverage after school and that six hour chunk of time that you're spending is going to shrink you want to take the syllabus the body of work you need to remember for that exam and chunk it up over the time you have from now until you have your first exam that's what you got to do divide it up Figure out, okay, this night I've got to revise this topic, this night I've got to revise this topic, this right, this topic. Am I tracking to finish and cover all the information however many times you want to cycle through the syllabus? How do you determine that? It's how confident you feel on the topic and uh, subject matter so far. And you just cover that, you rinse and repeat. It's reps, it's active recall, testing yourself, getting the reps in, space repetition. You know, one, two day break, test yourself again. Three day break, test yourself again. All that stuff is just constant, you know, revision, getting it into your head, but it's lightweight, fast and effective. It's not just sitting at the desk, twiddling your thumbs, daydreaming. Second thing, I wouldn't get into any kind of arguments with your parents or your teachers. I just keep your head down and behave in a way that you know is gonna get you to where you need to be. And you're smart, you can do this, you can plan it out. Write it down and figure it out, chunk it up. Those different subjects, the time you have left, and execute on a day-to-day -day basis. I know you're having a little bit of problems with executing as well when you come home. You're saying you you know, you know, can't get down to it. You gotta get that routine, that post-school routine locked down. I say it a lot, the micro list, the, on the way home from school, write down three things, what you're gonna do the moment you walk in that door. Boom, bag down, glass of water, hit the desk, one hour's work, clocked away, nailed, in the locker, thank you. Little break, maybe you go and have some dinner, boom, another hour. All of a sudden, it's 7 p.m., you've still got the whole evening, you've already clocked down two hours of cracking revision. It's that kind of routine of telling yourself what to do, using the smartphone, having mini lists of notes. Be like, okay, what did I write down when I was in a good spot and I was thinking about what do I want to achieve tonight? You look at it, you check off the things on that list. If something pops up, if someone snaps you, if someone messages you, are you, you go, okay, is this on my list? Do I need to reply to Snapchats right now? If it's not on the list, you don't do it. You just stick to the list. Direct yourself on what to do and when to do it. Be disciplined. And that, that's literally one way to just get the ball rolling. Make a list, execute. If it's not on the list, you don't do the task. And you just roll. You make that routine. And you, you'll, start, you'll start to love it because you will feel a lot more in control. And then you can dabble with a bit of Snap. You can dabble with the, the social media apps. And you can put that on your list, like 20 minute power sesh, pinging out snaps and things like that. It, can all, it all snowballs. You just gotta get that initial routine of on the way home from school, write down the first three things you're gonna do when you get home. I'm checking out.